So we're going to do another query, and this is going to be a parameter query that's going to prompt for the technician's first name and last name. We're going to be using two different tables for this. And we're going to go right into design view. So we're going to click on the create, get in the create ribbon. And then we're going to choose query design. And with the show table open, we're going to add the technician and the work order table. So I'm just going to double click on each one. Then I'm going to close out of the show table dialog. And I'm going to resize these just a little bit <clears throat> so I can see all of the fields because it is easier to add them to our query by design grid here. And then we're going to add our fields to the table by double clicking and they do want them in a very specific order. So we're going to start with the work order. So we'll double click on that. And then from the technician table, we're going to add the first name and the last name. And then we're going to go back over to work orders and we're going to add the service date and the hours. and the rate. So basically everything we're adding is from work orders except for the technician's first and last name. And to take a look at this query right now, when it runs, we're going to click on the run button. And this is what we're seeing at this point. And what we're going to do is add parameters so that the user, when they run this, have to type the technician's first name and the technician's last name. So we're going to go back over here to design view. And in the criteria row below first name, we're going to type this prompt in brackets because brackets indicate parameter query. And these brackets are next to the letter P on your keyboard. So we are going to type, type the technicians whoop, well I didn't mean to press enter, so <laughs> type the technicians first name and then we're going to do the closing bracket. And then for last name, it's going to be similar. Got an opening bracket. Type the technician's last name. And then we've got a closing bracket. And I'll press enter to end that one. Now let me widen these a little bit. And you can see what both of them look like. So at this point, we are going to save. And we're going to call this prompted tech labor. Let's click OK. And then they actually want us to close this. And then we're going to double click to run it. Technician's first name. Uh, we're going to key in Pat, and for the last name, Heinz. And then we only see the records for Pat. And if you want to do a second one, I believe Brody Stewart was another technician. And now you're seeing those records. So at this point, we have verified that the parameter query works. So you can go ahead and close that, and we will be creating another query in the next video.